This is a 2023 Winnebago 34M at the 2024 FRVTA Florida Super Show here. And we're just going to do a quick view of the outside. Here is your Onan 8000 quiet diesel generator. And here is your dual fuel, one of the dual fuel fills. Um, here's some electronics, your satellite system, and your HDMI switch for your TV controls. Now, notice these doors are all electric latches, or buttons above here, open and close them. Um, here, for example, is a slide out tray. Here is a circuit box here for your circuits and your your Firefly integration circuit layout here. Now, you see right here, you've got your TV right here that comes out and goes in place, closes up there. And here is your bat uh, chassis, bat uh, chassis, your house batteries here and your Zentrets inverter. And here's your Aquahot 400D hydronic heating system. And here's your starting batteries, your uh, fuel filters, etc. Back here, it should be noticed that this is a side radiator coach. And here's the uh, rear cap here of the journey. Now, the salesman told me that this is a 23 model, but they're coming up with a 2024 very soon. This actually is the only diesel pusher that Winnebago has here at the 2024. RV Super Show in Tampa. And by the front door here, we've got a couple of chassis battery cutoffs here, as well as a little step cover right here, motorized. You see right here, we have a little touch screen right here and some step cover and entry lock. There is a very handy, dandy uh, flip up desk here, which I will attempt to show you it's just a, It's a little tight, that's yeah. all, it's brand new. Very tight, yeah. but very, very nice to have. Um, most diesel pushers do not have this type of desk for those who want to work on the road. Hey, Marie, so what have you found out about the front end here? Um, actually, I found that I, I, I like this coach. It's really nice. I did a quick walk through, talked to several people that have been here. But yeah. right next to me, I've got a couple drink holders. I've got the light switches, and you've got the step covers and the entry locks. We also have people waiting to see, so we're going to try to go really quick. <laughs> and see the Freightliner digital dash here, system here, a whole bunch of controls here Amen. for mirror heat, okay, etc. Your do, we're all doing, important we're doing it for you air too. parking brake, we'll be, we'll your just heater be like controls, three minutes, okay? and your dash driver, it's it's and other see. porch controls it's here for see. lighting, as well as some 12 volt and USB docks here. Okay, we're going to kind of go kind of quick. We have a line forming outside. Up here are two cabinets. Yes, this is passed and through. Nice, so nice, nice slide, very big. Has the window bag on market. And there's one on each side. Yes. Moving on to the uh, couch. It does make it into a bed. And this one I have to demonstrate because there's just no way to explain this, guys. Okay, so it's not exactly a jackknife sofa, but it's very different. So basically it's powered and each side comes down like that to make the bed. Absolutely. And Look that at that. Very uncomfortable for you, dear. Well, it's because I'm going sideways. But right. anyway, it's all electric. The cabinets are all past. I think the cabinets up there were. See, I already forgot, folks. Well, we have six cabinets above here. One, two, three. They're all individual. They're not passed through. Right. But nice. What do you think of this wood ton? I color? love it. I love it. I've never been a big fan of white. I know a lot of people like the white. I don't. Right below these cabinets here next to the couch is the dining area. You have a pull-out table. And what's really cool is you got some cubbies here, but and they're not very deep. But right here, when you open the cabinet, it passes all the way through. Wow. It's one big, large one cabinet big, to store. Cabinet. Okay. Exactly. All right. Well, Across we the way, we have the fireplace. Yes. We have some cabinets that are separate. Look at this backsplash. Take a look at that backsplash. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. Look at the detail on that. You also have some room in here for spices and stuff. And that is your televator right there, if you haven't right. seen that already. And even this drawer, they made it a little bit longer as it goes around the televator. You have a power switch right here, so and you, you have, have an outlet. a Bluetooth soundbar. There's the power. 
Mm -hmm. We are going fast. As I said, folks, there are a lot of people waiting here. There is a uh, shelf in there that's adjustable, and you have three great big cabinets here. On top of those cabinets is the induction top stove. And should be note that those are drawers, not cabinets. And a microwave. And convention microwave. Okay. The sink is, on. sink is separated, making it an L-shaped kitchen. And we do have a wire rack, as well as the cabinet that goes all the way to the wall with two adjustable shelves. And notice that this door does not open. We do have a, this, oh, is goes around, this goes around the uh, drain. It's a huge drawer. They made space, for, made total use of the space, and it has a dishwasher, folks. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, we're going to oh, head down to... We have a flip-up countertop we extension do. here, we which we won't do in places. I don't feel like messing with it. Okay. We, we have, have a touch screen control for all the standard lights, uh, HV controls, etc. cetera. Okay. okay, we have a full bath here. You definitely have some storage space both here. This one has a cubby this way, so it's kind of like that. You do have a lighted mirror with a medicine cabinet with lips on it so stuff don't fall out. A really nice integrated sink. And we have also a cubby this way. Mm -hmm. We also have a cabinet. Oh, there's that drawer again. I missed that one. Yep, there's okay. the drawer. And there is space below there. We have right. a toilet seat here, and we have a nice shower. I'm waiting for Ben well, to sit get... sit down for a moment. I want to I see wanted, how that looks. I want Ben to get in the shower, so okay, I want to see how he shower. works. All right, we're getting inside the shower. I want to see how he likes the size of Ow. the shower. Well, I don't like that. I just bumped my head on the... Um, shower head? Rain shower head. Uh, so the shower gets a 5 out of... Ten. Oh, that's the only thing you don't like. Oh, wow. See, and I, li I like that shower. I thought well, I like, like the shower, it. except I had to sit there and lower yeah, my knees to I do see the shower. And chances are I would experience cranial injury between yeah, the, the DT bar and this rain shower head, which was beautiful, but I just wish it was a little higher, like almost yeah. in the skylight. But remember, but it, folks, he's six foot six, and for most people, that shower would be great. Well, it's nice to have that to actually have a uh, seat in the shower for those of you who need to sit down while you shower. Does Wait, have don't forget, we have a pantry. two pull-out pantries here. And these do have like a European-style lock, so they won't come flying open when you're going down the road. Okay, you also have a full-size residential refrigerator with a pull-out freezer on the bottom. Uh -huh. And this is the lock folds down here, so yes. you have to lock it in place. Moving into the bedroom, look at the storage in this closet. Wow, what about nice that? It's got, a got two, uh, well, actually... These, These are for shelves. These shelves are all adjustable. Right, so you can make this closet whatever way you want. And now, what is this now in the corner? Okay, over here is our washer and dryer. Wow. Okay, you do have literally a regular size dresser. You have cabinets above. They are individual. Three individual. We have. A, well, this one here has a little less space, but about a forty-inch TV with Bluetooth soundbar. And look at this. You have nine drawers. Nine drawers. The TV does tilt into the wall, but we're going to leave it tilt out. It does have a sound bar, so you can watch it on TV. Well, it's interesting. It looks like there's a flip-up panel right here. There is. Wow, look at that. You got a little, little secret little storage, storage space right there. Uh -huh. um, see Absolutely. the outlets and whatnot back here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I see I see heater control. I do not see an outlet here. Is this a door right here on the outside or just a panel? So here, another panel here. I do not see an outlet, so I'm not exactly sure where someone would put the devices in. You They're see? actually on the inside of the cabinet. Inside the cabinet. To, toward you. Toward, okay, so it's facing, as you see right there, it's very difficult to see, but they right. do have them. Right, we have four individual cabinets up top for more storage. Yes, four individual okay. cabinets. I just, what do you think about the individual cabinets versus one long pass-through? Well, they're okay. I mean, it depends on what you're carrying. But like I said, there's other big long spaces. It also has a tilted bed. And really, folks, the only thing that I have heard people say, and there's been a lot of people through here, the only thing that they don't like is they do not like these little pieces of curtain here. Yeah, so what do you think the about these? on the rod. Yeah, I mean, this they're, they're only for decoration. They don't go all the way across. There are shades. Okay, so it's just decoration. Yeah, but a lot but of people don't like that. It makes you think that they would go across for... If, Several people Privacy. said they're dust collectors, but they're very nice. And so, once again, folks, thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And drop us a comment and tell us what you like and what you dislike about 23 Model. Okay. This can be sold.
Okay, so anyway, don't forget to start all your journeys with... Now you open the doors to adventures and start all your journeys with... The RV keys. And, and this actually is a journey, so you want to make sure you start your journey with your keys. <laughs> okay. And have a great day, folks. Bye-bye.